Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Urban Mech 2C, we are playing the HK, the legendary Urbi, one of the two, uh, because uh, one of you guys told me that I should play it with lasers instead of the big autocannon. Now this thing is actually quite interesting and quite versatile when you take a look at it. It has three energy hard points and three ballistic hard points, so you can do uh, a nice mix of those weapons. But when we take a look at the quirk, I would say it really shines when using ballistic weapons. It says Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Duration negative 30% and Clan Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Chance also negative 30%. So it really wants to run one of these Ultra Auto Cannons. Uh, it also has the Ballistic Velocity, but also it has a 15% regular cooldown, a 10% range buff and a laser duration buff of 20%, which means we can use those lasers for great effect. That means um, we are going for a Sniper Irby today. As you can see, we have stripped the right side completely and we are putting everything on our left side and we are running a triplet of large lasers today. We're gonna take the extended range large lasers because I want to stay in the outskirts and fire into the fight with this little urban mech. It is not the sturdiest mech in the world. Yes, it's an Irby, but it's only a 30 tonner. Therefore, we want to stay mostly outside of the fight and shoot into them. And yes, our ER large lasers uh, have a ghost heat, uh, heat scale limit. Uh, you can only fire two at the same time without generating extra heat spikes and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna shoot one barrage of two lasers and then chain fire the other one right afterwards so we have a total alpha strike group fire strike of 33 damage that doesn't seem like a lot but we can engage quite early which means we can engage quite often and over time that 33 damage will rack up multiple times to yeah a great amount of damage over the course of the game i'm running the biggest xl engine that i could muster here so that i have 97 kph and i'm you know able to just maneuver and you know shift around the position of my teammate we always want to have our teammates between us and the enemy which means if they rotate we have to take a, a wider arc around them and therefore we need that extra speed if you are confident sticking in one position you can of course drop the engine down to something like a i don't know 145 or something and get some extra double heat sinks in it cools your mech a little bit more but you would lose a lot of firepower so now we have a total of 14 heat sinks we have five internal in the engine and nine external but uh, if you go for that you do gain 20 kph and uh, you have seven internal and uh yeah, six external. So we just gain one more heat sink by dropping the engine down, and I don't think that's gonna be worth it. I think the heat is kind of manageable, and sometimes you need to reposition anyway, and that's your cooldown period. Let's take a look at the skills before we get into the games here, guys. We have uh, maxed out the cooldown and heat gen because I wanna be able to fire as often as possible, and laser duration helps with that. It lowers our exposure time because our lasers will be done firing a bit faster, and we can then pop back to cover. We have a little bit of range here, but this is just some leftover stuff i don't really care about it too much what i do care about is my own survivability therefore armor hardening skeletal density it is debatable to not take the skeletal density and go for almost maximum range instead so you can use distance as your means of defense uh, i'm not going to go for any mobility here but i want maximum cool run and heat containment because we are a toasty boy we have only energy weapons and they will rack up heat over time so this is kind of helping keeping us cold seismic sensor is also kind of debatable because again we are a long range guy we don't necessarily are in the thick of the fight or on the front line knowing what's going on there is kind of crucial when you are but uh, in the back line not so much at the same time it is really nice to see uh, on the minimap that somebody is closing into you and wants to backstep you and you're you know kind of aware of it in your surroundings when that happens got a bit of radar deprivation to break locks quicker when we pop back to cover as i was saying and i'm gonna go for a double cool shot build today with double artillery strike on top of that and yeah that's the build for today guys i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming if you have that don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty guys, first game of the day, we are playing the Scrapyard, which is actually quite bad for us, because seeing here with our own eyes is not gonna be easy because of the darkness level and everything. But hey, let's, uh, yeah, let's try to get the high ground and let's try to get an overview. I see a person. I see a little silhouette. There we go. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. Uh, it's not a Fandango. We're gonna go over here. Uh, stay in motion with the team, I think. We can try to pop a little bit of damage out early on. But, 
It's not gonna matter that much. We need to, though. We, we need to use our damage over time capabilities. We are not made for instant burst damage. So every point of damage that we can get on the enemies while we are moving towards the front line is good. So check the horizons. Where are these enemies, huh? I don't see them. There are people here on the left flank. Uh, can I? Yeah, I mean, I dealt a damage or two. There's a guy. Little late for that. Yeah, we got some sniper ronies there. Ah, okay. Uh, let me try to get the high ground. Ah, crap, he was too fast for me. Still there, though. Yeah, I got larger lasers than you. Longer lasers. Hello, my friend. We have a Jenna and Charlie 3. Jenna and Charlie 3. Uh, be aware, light mech. Okay. I'm gonna try to help out against that guy. Or will I? Only if he comes around. I think I want to keep my position here. Because it's not bad. Here's the Jenner. Ugh. The jump jet jitter is gonna be a bit problematic. Uh, let's go for Jenneroni. Oh, please don't go for me, little guy. Is he gonna... Yeah. Careful with the team damage. Hey, we got him. Okay. So, one guy down. I'm gonna try to get on my high ground again, somewhere in the outskirts. And I don't think there are any good outskirts anymore, so we're gonna... <laughs> take it right here. Damn it. A little too late. But we got a target here that wants to be artillery struck. Yeah, yeah. Drop down. Munch of enemies in Charlie 4. Munch of enemies! That's what you say, right? Yeah. I'm here for close range fire support now. Let's get up. Around. And get an overview. It's kind of hard. Okay, so we have a great focus on the Atlas here. So I hope you can see better like that now. And Sight also needs to go. Couldn't shoot him. I'm gonna shoot on sensors mainly. Ow. Ow. Uh oh, okay. But you know what? I can contest you. Again, it's fire support. Ah, that cool shot was kind of wasted, I believe. Unless we go and engage again. Get an overview. Get the... Ah, the Atlas. I'm always a second too late here. But that is the target now. We got it. Okay. Um, legs, legs on Alpha, guys. Left leg on Alpha. I got you covered. Just keep moving. That hack dude, though. That hack dude. Acquired. Yeah, team is rotating further, so we need to reposition, we need to shift around. But that's okay, because we can take that as a cooldown period. Get another angle on you, my friend. The Thunderbolt. Try again. A little lower there. Okay, so we're hot again. Let's stay in motion. Oh, so bad. Our Annihilator is not having a good time. He was calling for assistance earlier. Wasted heat. I thought the T-Board was coming out of cover. But okay. We are within team cohesion. Take that. Okay, and up the high ground again. Our heat capacity is not looking great. Yeah, I wanted these guys, but then the wolf hunt was running in front of me. Ah, oh, man, let's go. It feels like I cannot really get into my desired position because of the rotation that is going on right now. That is not okay. Cool down, cool down, cool down. We need some focused shots, but how do we get them when we are constantly moving? Now, let's stay in low ground. The guy was locking onto me. I, I, I don't like it right now. I gotta tell you. Don't like the current situation. We gotta eat that. And... Drop artillery? No, we couldn't drop artillery. Little too late with my adjustments there. Come on, Arctic. Ah, crap. So we'll take this real quick. There we go, and now we are forced into motion again. Oh boy, oh boy, can we win this? Is this possible by doing what we are doing here? Get up high. More up. Alright, we got some targets. There we go. I, again, cannot use my artillery strike. Heat level critical is a thing that I hear a lot in this instance. Holy macaroni. There's a guy. Alright. I dropped Adi. Kinda hope that it is doing a thing. Holy crap. So Adi did hit. It's a Timby with the laser barrage. Let's help out against... Yeah, the cheetah down here. Maybe we don't have to. 
He has a gun now. Uh, I mean, again, every point of damage counts. And so far, we have the upper hand. But the question is for how long. I feel like I'm getting hit in a second. He has smoke. I did. How did I not hit him? How did I not hit him? There must be some structure that is not rendered right now. Ah, crap. All right. See this guy. I wanted this guy. Wash me. I'm gonna wash you. <laughs> wash me with the lasers, baby. I mean, we're running eight and... See again? I should be so able to hit this guy. Holy crap. Okay, what's going on here? Get wrecked. Did we get him? Like, as a team? Uh, it's nine and seven. No, yeah, I think we got the Timby in the end. So, let's go for the Piranha. Oop. Ten and seven. Looking good. The last two enemies are right down here in Delta 4. Never mind. Echo 3. Night vision. Oh, Gargoyle. Oh, Gargoyle. Are you damaged? You kind of are, so that's good. Okay. Right arm. Oh, you got pulses? Oh, my God. He overheated to death. Irby victory. I'll take that as my kill. Hmm? So my warhorn didn't ring, but we dealt some good damage, right? Like 500 plus-ish? Let's take a look. Yeah, you know, 543. Again, we were forced so much into the rotation that we couldn't just stay in one spot and just just fight and fire into the fight. Also, the structure of the map. Uh, I'm not, not justifying. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to give you an overview of what's going on, like a reasoning of what is going on. But hey, 543 for a damage overtime build in that scenario here, I would say, is a personal win. We even got a kill most damage dealt in the end. So guys, that has been it. Nope, that was the first round. <laughs> Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day. We are playing the Vitrix Station. We're playing Domination. You know where I'm gonna go, right? Yes, up the high ground. We're gonna try to find and uh, some enemies here on the ramp. Um, yeah, but at the same time, we gotta be careful to not overextend because these enemies up top they usually seek the same thing as me which is you know some long-range targets so let's hope that we also get some friends up here i see in a cougar okay cougar stalker coming up let's see if we can find somebody there's a guy zap zap double hit good not optimal but you know what i can do that i have better range than you have can i hit you again there you are I'll take it. It's almost optimal range as well. It's not peaking. Yeah, he got intimidated by our friend there. All right, so there's that. Actually, it's not over yet. I'll tickle you even further if I get the opportunity to do so. Use the stalker as a meat shield. What's going on there? Is that smart? It might be. It might be just smart enough. Pretty baby! All right, important thing is that we don't drop. Heat level. Heat level is critical. That's what I actually like. I mean, I don't like being hot necessarily, but at the same time, we used our heat management to full extent, and that is a good sign. That means we shot a lot of our shots, and we also hit them. So, that's nice. So, going around here, trying to take that window as an opportunity. There's a guy. Gotta make sure that I'm not falling here, because I might fall into my demise. And I don't want to peek against that timber wolf. No, thank you. Not in that range. But yeah, we got some metal around us now. Let's also go for the heat vision so we can see a bit better. Okay. Yeah, I ran into that once. But yeah, Shelby, push over, guys. Shelby. Let's go then. Okay. I'm gonna lead the push. <laughs> uh, Osiris is weak on armor. Uh, yeah, you are also. Come on, take that side also away. Actually, stay on the Osiris before he runs away. Ah, come on. He stays? Why? Why would you do that, buddy? You, you better run, you better drop. Oh, interesting. But yeah, we got something done. We got a kill. That was important. Osiris is also half dead. Again? I mean, sure. Get that guy. Atlas. Hell yeah. Oh, I ran into those missiles. I need to chain fire. Just to make sure. Yeah, it's fine, man. Betty said override. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. We should be fine. By the way, Irby, 360 spin. I see you. Yeah, hello. Okay, push forward. Actually? Oh, 100% heat, and we actually... Oh, no! 
we took it. So that's the thing I don't necessarily want, but we got three kills already, so you know what? Ah, that does uh, unnecessary damage. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, man. Onyx, Onyx is cored. If you see him, kill him. Is he gonna peek? Is he gonna come around again? I'm cold, which means I should shoot my weapons. And that guy is down. The mouth? What? Mouth breather? <laughs> okay, let's get the Atlas. Uh, let's just roll over them, I guess. Holy crap. You guys. You guys, 9 and 0. Now that was focused damage. I feel like I didn't do a lot here. Can we get a kill? One kill. Hello, friends. Ah, it's not gonna happen, right? Ah, back forth. Where am I gonna go? Jumping. A bit of... Oh, you're still here? No, you're dead. All right, all right. I kind of hope that the catapult is coming out to play again, but now he's dead and everybody got obliterated. I guess we made a point there. We had aggression. The top was ours. And then we just ran over them because the enemies had no team cohesion anymore and we could just pick our fights. Holy crap. Yeah, we dealt 441 damage. Didn't get a kill here. But I'd say... This, this concept is proven. It just works. Yes, we need a little bit of time to actually completely make it work. Do I think the Ultra Auto Cannon 20 build is better? I would say yes, but this one is also fun. And uh, in the right circumstances where we can stay at range and take our time and snipe down the enemies, the complete opposite of what we had here, I think this thing can easily rack up 800 damage. No problem. But again, you need time. I hope you enjoyed the time here, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.